Spinner is no simple witch. And welcome back to the Black Book. It's not the last time we'll hear of her. Well done, Vasya. She's taking a liking to you. The meeting couldn't have gone better. Oh, yeah, she tried to set me up with some kid. <laughs> All right, we've got the belt. Now we must plan our next moves. And now to find a cross and a name. Uh, let's start off a cross. Then I'll start with the cross. What could be more important? In Yanidor, you'll find Evdakia Fokovna. They say her daughter was possessed by Ikota. Hmm. So, did you get all that? You gave me one sentence. Who is that Ikotka? Ikotka. Come on, don't you remember? This one time, a woman from Pokcha came to us, so that we could whisper some zagavars over her. And then a chort the size of a Vershok escaped from her. So, something that's about the size of a rat popped out of her. Oh, so that was an Ikotnitsa. Well, yes, this Ikota chort talked with us for a bit, remember? Nope. Mm, I really don't like dealing with the possessed. Why not? Well, nothing can be done about that. So, did you get all that? Talk to me more. Where can we find that woman in Yenidor? <clears throat> Her house is closer to the edge of the village. The one with carved gates. So, did you get all that? You're about to get the backside of my hand. What not to get? Go to the Ikotnitsa and take her cross. Oh no, I'm just straight up robbing a lady. Oh, I have even more people to talk to. Am I just going to fill up this entire place with people? Like, is his wife going to go in there? Is, am I going to adopt some child that's going to hang out up here? And Galbets and his boss seller. Old Igor says that's where the Damavoy lives. I've never met one. But I once saw a black figure standing still in the corner of the house. Okay, let's go mess with these shorts. That's a lot of sins, holy shit. Weave a rope out of sand. Send that one. Uh, send that one. Yeah, I'm fine with you just appearing in the night. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to everybody again. We should tell everyone about the charts we've met. You know, to warn the good people, right? Everyone knows, but not everyone believes. How did you end up with a cross? I'm just gonna keep asking you. Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, right. There's no such thing as a cross with no story behind it. All right, then. I'll tell you. We were near a town. Levna, it's called. It was a real massacre there. Did you encounter any chorts there? He couldn't see them. Worse. The cannon fire was so loud that all the chorts fled, if they were any. It seems they all fled here, to the north. So, there was this redout ahead of us. Couldn't take it. Redoot? Well, it's a kind of a fortress. No one could get any closer. And what about you, being such a gallant lad? Hey, no jokes. Listen. I am telling you the story of how all my comrades died. I think God helped me. I went from the side, and then... 
found some barrels full of gunpowder and led them. They blew up, started a fire. There was a lot more ammunition there. A lot of our enemies burned that day. I can still hear their screams. So he accidentally set fire to the entire fucking fortress, basically. I suppose I will to the end of my days. I nearly died there myself. Since then, when I see a fire, I remember that Tridut and those screams. You know, considering he's saying that he almost burned to death himself, he looks pretty okay. I fished the cross from the river of blood, Vysel. Are you happy now? Do you understand about the fire now? Ah. Are you sneezing? Hmm. What are you going to do with your new bride? <laughs> I like how Vas Vasilisa is just eagerly <laughs> accepting the whole he's going to marry a demon thing. Well, we'll get a farm. We'll get folks from the village to help. Well now, I'll build an excellent izba. And children eventually. What a life it will be. Can you have children with a demon? Be careful though. Who knows? The bannock might be back. That's good. The mother-in-law is always <laughs> welcome. <laughs> okay, I like that. It seems that you're the fiercest of them all. Okay, that's cute. I like that. Let's go. We'll talk later. Old houses and banyas are often home to demons. The masters leave, but don't always take their host spirits with them. You've been telling me how you got your Kaldun power. Right. Where were we? So uh, I became a shepherd boy. He taught me this and that at first, that Prokopi. <laughs> that one time, the cattle had wandered all over the place, and my chief turned up drunk. Drank a whole bottle of vodka. He couldn't move a muscle. Well, what other choice did I have? I went to collect them by myself. Managed to get almost all of them as midnight drew near. Had to pass Mikhail's crossroads on the way back. You know how that place is. So, there I am, with the cattle tagging along. The moment I stepped onto the crossroads, everything turned upside down. He's the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Winds out of nowhere, and what you know, swarms of shorts. Figured I'd quickly draw a circle around me, and so I did. And these shorts were just swarming on the edge of the circle. All sorts, you name it. Well, I think that's it. Everything turned out all right, as you see. <laughs> Next time I'll tell you how I got out of it. Ah, uh, yes, the cliffhanger. What sort of spirits are those Baniks? Masters of the bathhouse, like a susietko in an esba. I don't think it was an ordinary place, the banya, before the worship of God. What do you mean, before God? There was never a before. I mean that our ancestors used to be worshipped the spirits of the hearth. Some Perm people still call upon Yan or Voipil. That L was pronounced like an N. Alright, let's talk to my new Mamir head. That's what I'm talking about! Finally, no riddles! I wonder if this corpse will tell on us to Capitalina. We should carry him to the forest and bury him under a tree somewhere. <laughs> you think he might be dangerous? Yes, that's why we took him. What are you whispering there, Yegorka? Haven't you recognized me yet? Oh, who is this? I would uh, head you any more face to guess by. I may have but little skin left, but I'm still more handsome than you, old short. Oh, <laughs> Levonti, is that you? Yes, that's what his name has been the entire time. 
Finally! Looks like your memory isn't any better than that of the rotten head! Tote! <laughs> Why aren't you dead yet? I can't tell if he's excited to see him or if he's pissed. I guess it's alright, Vasilisa. This undead is safe. He won't tell anything to the spinner. Okay, no, he's happy to see him. I never thought this demon would turn out to be an acquaintance of yours. I know every Kaldun and Duist, both living and dead. Me and your grandpa were friends before you were even born. Although, I inherited my sorcery. When my grandma was on her deathbed, she was a witch, as you might have guessed. She called for me, asked me to bring her some water. And then she passed me her charts to me. Ha! A cunning ploy that was. Why, because he gave her water? And I, young and dumb as I was, accepted them. To tell the truth, I never really regretted it. I told you I'll be immortal someday. <laughs> A box on your immortality. We'll see how you sin when demons come for you. We will, Levonti. What do you mean he won't tell her? Perhaps we should actually leave him in the forest. I did bring him here to bury him, after all. I won't betray an old friend of mine, you hear? Just in case, uh, let me bind you with a couple of Zagavars. <laughs> and you, Yegor, still just as cunning. I heard, I, I heard that as stunning, not cunning. You waste your strength, though. What little of it do you have left? Only three teeth worth, as I see it. Don't worry, I have enough. And let's talk about the skull. Why do you look like that? Only a white head with no body. You try being undead as long as I did. Time eats away everything, even steel. It's only thanks to sorcery that my head isn't completely gone. I can teach you this trick. Ah, uh, yes. To be a head at the mercy of anyone. I'll doubt I ever want to leave as a wrecked skull. Goodbye, head. Okay, uh... Oh, I can just immediately fucking leave? Really? Let's look at my knowledge. Eh, not quite enough yet. Anyway, I have four shorts. I thought I had five. Huh, no, just four. Hello. Get out of here, you meddling kids, or you'll get it! <laughs> Run! They saw us! Wait, maybe they're here on business. Well, speak up. <laughs> oh, Vasilisa! We saw such a scary thing! West of Yenidor, there's a scary Isba! Evil spirits live there, for sure! Why do you say that? See for yourself! They say there used to be a party every day, but now it stands silent as the grave. So in for ourselves. What was I supposed to say? Viglin? Vigans? Uglans? Mm. Well, well, you'll wind up in graves yourselves if you go wandering like that. Run! I, is he just supposed to be doing the old man thing where he scares off all the kids or something? I don't get it. Well, my skills aren't paying much back yet. I've only had two visitors so far. Can I use the head? What's the head do? Eretnik waste. Hmm. Come along, Nikolai. Let's go visit the fair. Maybe we'll curse some of the partygoers. At the crossroads of two trade routes, you see the annual fair. Despite the late hour, trading is still taking place. Perhaps you might buy something for your journey. A multitude of goods can be found. Prianix, as well as a variety of magic trinkets. 
There's something for everyone here. This dude looks like he's seen a goddamn ghost. <laughs> Look at those eyes. So wide and terrified. She just looks sad. These guys are just ga are just gaming and chilling. Low prices. Come and see for yourself. Buy some herbs and other goods I've brought for you from the woods. What you got? Uh, this is my inventory. Boil a black cat until only one bone is left. That's the one you want. That is horrible. What the hell? I don't mean the stats. I mean just I'm looking. I'm thinking of the description. What the fuck? They come anywhere near my cats. I'm gonna gut a man. Alright, what do we have? Your lips were made for drinking honey. Mush is what you ate and mash is what you drink. More health. Increases status ward. Curses are better. Curses are better. So, it basically makes you immune to any and all attack, at the cost of losing 9 health guaranteed in the first two turns. Mm. What Wisdom do you got, will book? empty your heart and be good for your soul. Already got those. The players are carried away by a game of Durak. No. Uh, fair button. Off to Turchin Road. Turchin Road runs from Vilgot to Yendor. I don't know the reason for the name. Nikolai says it was to honor the Turks. I thought we were trying to kill the Turks. You wander off course and walk onto the road more to the west than you had planned. You stumble upon a ragged man with rotten teeth and rotten eyes. You realize that it's a brigand. Traveling by night in Perm Gubernia is dangerous, and not only because of the evil spirits. The silence is broken by his hoarse voice. Hey, what do we have here? A girl or something? He looks insane. Right. I'll let you go if you give me all your money. I'm half tempted to have the vet do it, but no, I'll kick your ass myself. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't know who you're messing with. You should pray I'll let you go in one piece. Oh, he, he straight up steals from me. Just like that. Only seven damage for all of those attacks. Well, one of them is a waste, so that's pretty okay. Backhand. That dude has a goddamn knife, and we're just backhanding him in the face. I don't have anything to block with, so I might as well go all in on damage. Nava. Garansha. Firmer than stone. Ouch. 
It'd be funny if this guy ends up killing me. Gila. Gila. This should be more than enough to kill him, right? Yeah, with the one waste, I'll deal 12 damage. And also allow me to heal. And thank you. Um, I could use another one of these. Oh, no more dialogue? Okay. Northern Forest. Forests are always dangerous, both day and night. Each forest has its own master. Rarely do these masters welcome unwanted visitors. Near a small forest creek, you find a grassy meadow. Among other vegetation, you see one beautiful flower. It's blood red and bright even in the moonlight. You come closer and tie its stem with a silver thread. With a swift pull, you now have a new, valuable herb, Adam's Head. Again, you take the it's herb not red. and get ready to go on your way. House near the Tereknovka River. I heard about an old house west of Yenador from the local boys. Maybe I can find something more for that. I thought that was a boy and his big sister. Those were both dudes. Fir branches poke into the empty windows of an abandoned hut. You are overcome by an unpleasant feeling. There's a good reason they call this place haunted. Step inside. You squeeze into a slightly open door and clear away the cobwebs. It is dark and empty here. The dead silence gives you chills. You step inside the house and freeze in horror. Under the broken red corner, lies a dead man's body. A broken accordion lies nearby, torn as if by a wild beast. You search the dead man and the Izba. The former has a pouch with some rubles inside. Yeah. You tell about the dead man in the nearby village and use the money to pay for his burial and a funeral service. Peasants tell you that several years ago, someone took this skillful musician to an evening gathering during the dead of night. He hadn't been seen since. That sounds like he was just murdered. Delightful. Alamo Forest. I heard a hermit lived in these woods of Bashkir origin. A handy fellow, he decorated doors and stoves and could do a lot of other different things. He died a while ago, but people still remember him. You walk through the forest. Grim trees hang from all sides, and strange noises are coming from the dark of the night. You freeze with fear when you notice two demons near an unearthed grave. They have already opened the coffin and are methodically skinning the dead body. Stop. Overcoming disgust, you open the black book. The first Zagavar will be yours. It always is. Alright, what we got, what we got. Hit that big one. Hit that big one. And... Grab that one. And... No, 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 hang on. Hit that one. Because he's going to die next turn. To whatever other black Zagvars I have. Six. So if I combine that with this, they both become four, which deals a nice fat eight. That's a disgusting card art. I love it. 
Never. Never. I've done it. Urazi. Amen. Babushka ser famuska. But I guess I don't know. Ah, yes, he peeled all my skin off. Delightful. And then he'll die next turn. Any health? None whatsoever. Having dealt with the demons, you look around. A narrow trail stretches from the grave to the forest. You remember hearing about this place. This overgrown trail leads to an old cemetery. Old cemetery. This cemetery is far from Yenador, and that's why it's not used anymore. There's a new one close to the village. All the better for me to safely conduct business. What, am I robbing graves? You know about a cemetery nearby, and decide to visit it. The tombstones that stand among the trees are enveloped in a gray fog. You look around, expecting an ambush, but everything is eerily quiet. I guess I'll take some soil. You're in luck. The grave diggers have recently dug up a grave. It stands open, black and hungry, yet unoccupied. You scoop a small amount of fresh cemetery dirt into a sack, and whisper some Zagavars. This soil will make your witchcraft stronger. Good. Read a prayer. You pray for the repose of the souls that lie in this cemetery. The night is silent. You calm down and rest a bit. You walk around the overgrown cemetery and look at the grave crosses while thinking of all the deaths that made this city of the dead. Who knows? Maybe Ikotniks were around in earlier times. Maybe some are buried here. I didn't know just like taking dirt from a cemetery was bad. <laughs> Eastern Bridge. You can get to the swamps from the east of Via via this bridge, conveniently called the Eastern Bridge. They say people hear strange noises at night over there. I should check it out. You hear a whip crack. Shrieking in pain, some unfortunate soul is being driven to hell by a devil. You pause in hesitation. Is this sinner's soul worth a fight? fight. You call out to the devil. Both the enemy and the sinner turn their burning eyes towards you. It turns out that the sinner is one of the demons. You hold the black book close and prepare for a fight. I know. Holy shit, you are fat. Okay, I start out with some defense, so all I need is like... I'll grab all of that, that'll give me two defense, heal for three, so I'll lose, I'll gain two health in total. Varahe, Salmanda, in Father's name. Will that be enough? Yes. I could kill him, probably. Ooh. 
Ooh, do I want to kill him off and protect my status, or do I want to... Yeah, let's do that. 14 damage. Okay. Urazi. Urazi. And Father's name? Firmer than stone. Oh, and Father's name also increases the ward, so I only lose one health. Now I lose three. Oh no, it applied afterwards, not beforehand. Okay, that's important to know. And I forgot to use his attack. <laughs> oh well. Nava. George the father. Firmer than stone. Arada. Backhand. I just love the I just love the mental image of this guy going up to this big fat pig demon and backhanding him. Yes, yes, how dare you, Schmeck. If I do any more it's gonna kill him and I want that little bit of health. Never. Score get Eagle. And he kills over dead. <laughs> Stefan Stone. This ravine is home to a holy stone. The people behind the door say that St Stefan of Perm himself left his mark on that stone. Sure, let's go visit it. In the shady ravine lies a great stone. It has the mark of a foot on its top that's filled with morning dew. There are quite a few candles around it. Here and there, you notice offerings from the peasants of Yanidor. Why would I drink foot dew? Well, I am a witch, so I guess that makes sense. You drink the holy water and feel a surge of strength and confidence. Eh, well, that makes sense. Yulvin Swamps. Near the village of Yandor, there lie the beautiful Yulvin Swamps. It's dangerous there. Old Yegor says that demons dwell in these swamps. That means I can catch them from my book. You see a swamp ahead. The damp soil squishes under your feet. You become cold and uncomfortable. Suddenly, a white ghost of a calf appears from the bog. It looks at you, and it does not move. Why would I hit it? You read a protective Zagavar, and the ghost disappears. When you finish your sorcery, you realize that this calf was, in fact, a treasure. Striking it would make the calf fall apart into coins. You notice the burning eyes of demons nearby. Are they guardians of this treasure? Okay, why would me punching a ghost calf give me coins? Is this just common sense for Slavic people? What the hell? Okay, I've got eight attack there, so if I backhand here... That means next turn he should die. Burn. Nava. Nava. Backhand. <laughs> I'm not gonna get over that. It's so lovingly stupid. If I do that, then... Yep, he deals three. Perfect. Nava. Adale. Urazi. Raba. Claw. Might as well heal. 
a boy. Nada. Nada. forever. Alright, I just need three damage. I can also just go ahead and heal myself. Yep, that'll be just perfect enough to remove all of his health. Up, oh, new level. Auto learn at level 19. Auto learn at level 5. Level 3. So, shouldn't I have that unlocked then? Or am I just not understanding how this is supposed to work? Let's go to my items. I still don't know what the earth page is. But it gives me firm. Which I assume is something good. And off to ya in the door. Actually... Let's remove an Avdale, because that's literally weaker than Avoil. Alright, back to the map. And off to the end, or willful people live in this village. Some of the peasants were compelled to work the Pahoj Dayan plants, but they revolted as it was too far away and inconvenient to work there. Janidor is covered with a bright pre-dawn mist. Amidst the hollow silence, you hear sounds of the village waking up. With old Yegor's directions, you quickly find the house of Yevdakia Fokovna. Nikolai knocks on the carved gates, and you are soon greeted by the hostess. Yevdakia Fokovna. God bless. God bless. God bless, indeed. And who might you be? <laughs> We've come to speak to your daughter. Ha! Ah, came to make fun of my Akulina. I won't let you. Leave us alone. Kick open the door, soldier. We need her cross. What in the world for? You want her for your witchery? Yes. You won't see Akulina for sure. It's not what you think, Yvdekia Fokovna. I know how to handle the Ikota. Only I can help Akulina. Huh. He he he. Very well. Couldn't hurt, I suppose. It surely couldn't get any worse. My girl suffers from an Ikota day and night. Akulina hides in the old Church of Transfiguration at night. The Ikota is not so violent there. That's where you'll find her. Thank you. Don't worry about your daughter. We will help. Well, God willing. God willing. Goodbye, Yvdekia Fokovna. No. Yep. The old church of transfiguration, a grim shadow in the crimson twilight of the early hours. The domes of this building tower silently over you, 
Hundreds of years and dozens of generations have passed under its roof. You can feel the wisdom stored within these majestic walls. I can't believe any Kotnitsa was hiding in the church. An icon. Someone must have knocked it off the icon case is broken. I can't figure out which saint it is. <laughs> also, what Porsche? There's no Porsche up there. stairs lead inside the church the dude's words sounded pretty weird when he said that this place is too grim to be a christian place yeah what the hell is this supposed to be over here over here, there you go. The wooden sculpture looks majestic and enigmatic. Not a speck of dust on the crucifix. The cross also lies untouched. The wooden sculpture looks majestic. The iconostasis has collapsed partially, as if it suffered a strong northern gale. The royal gates are crooked and no longer bar the entrance to the altar. It looks like some of the icons were torn out on purpose. Some of them stand facing the wall. In the dim light, you notice a heap of rags where the Ikotnitsa Akulina lays. She seems to be sleeping. From time to time, the girl shudders from nightmares sent by the Chort to haunt her. You call out to the girl. She jolts up and darts to the altar corner. Even amidst the gloom, you notice the way her arms are shaking. Poor thing. Who are you? Oh, holy shit. Really poor thing. Don't hurt me, please. Frighten her and grab the cross. What? No. Don't be afraid, Aquilina dear. We won't harm you. I'm Vasya, and this is Kola. We want to help you. We heard you have a Nikota. Yeah, they say I have a short inside me. It torments me. Can we talk to it? I can't make Proshka come out. He'll come out when he wants to. We'll need your cross for this. Can you trade it to us? What am I to do without a cross? Proshka will eat me alive without it. I'll trade you mine. I have two of them. One was given to me at birth, and I found the other on the battlefield. No, oh, I get it. Tell us about your chort. What's there to tell? Sometimes he crawls out, sometimes he can do some sorcery. The other kids make fun of me. If I was another kid, I'd be terrified of her. <laughs> the girl starts to whimper. We can get rid of Broshka. Get rid of him? Really? He won't live by himself. No, we have to beat you. Don't worry. I think I know how to draw his attention. I have to make the Ikota mad enough so that he leaves Akolina. How can I anger this particular chort? Well, he doesn't seem to like uh, prayers or anything. Okay, let's look at my book. It's ailment, induced by a cold done or a witch, is representative of the Russian North, specifically the Sheridan UZ and Gomipan region. An evil spirit is enchanted with the with word power bound to a name and cast into the wind. The first person it encounters who bears this name becomes its victim. Sometimes stones or insects are enchanted with Ikota. In this way, whoever happens to trip over the stone or swallows the insect by accident suffers Ikota. 
A gota usually takes the appearance of an animal, a frog, a lizard, or a mouse. Occasionally it takes the form of a frog spawn, and more rarely an insect, a fly, a spider, or a mosquito. It is not, however, always brought down by a cold dung. It may pass from a cold dung to any man in the event of the former's death. When inside a person, a gota can speak of all kinds of voices. Hmm. First mention of a gota occurred in 1785 when Bishop Venamain of Archigali of Ark and Cole in his address to the Sinoid, who describes the ailment as a special kind of evil eye in possession. Also in his address, the cleric connected Gota to the beliefs of the ancient nation of Chud, which are situated along the shores of the Penega River and worship pagan gods. In 1862, an uprising took place in Penega and Mizen, during which an angry mob burned down several houses where, it was believed, Godons had dwelled upon, dwelled who brought a gota upon woman. Those possessed by a gota were called Ikotniks. At one time, there were so many people suffering from this strange malady that some scientists thought a gota to be hereditary. Well, considering it's people freaking out, I'd say, yeah, probably. Women succumbed to a gota more frequently, and sometimes it passed from one housewife to another, devolving into a kind of mass hysteria. Old believers treated a gota rather violently without the aid of magic or prayer. Women suffering from a gota were starved, beaten with wooden rods, baited with dogs, and trained bears. Drenched with ice water and left out to freeze. Those who survived returned to their homes and never suffered from a gota again. Probably because they were just acting out or saying no to the man of the house and they decided to beat the ever loving hell out of him. Jesus. And again, none of this has anything to do with, uh... I'm, I want to go with icons. Yeah, I was right. The broken icon at the entrance, and the defaced iconostasis here are not a coincidence. Seems like he doesn't like icons, that Broshka of yours. Yes. He made me deface the icons here. I'll draw a circle, and we'll start. Beware this image of Jesus. Fear him. You sit, Aquilina, in front of the iconostasis, and Nikolai puts the icons into place. You start to read a Zagavar. You learned it long ago, but your memory doesn't fail you. The words of the spell ring out with a thundering echo. You almost manage to finish the ritual, when Akulina suddenly pushes you. Taken by surprise, your incantation of magic words stops. The girl starts to convulse. The Ikota has emerged out of her. Is her back gonna snap and she bends over or something? No, the kitty's just gonna pop out of her head. <laughs> you call yourselves exorcists? Exorcists? Exorcists. Also, I can see why she's bleeding so much if that's what's coming out of her. Christ almighty. This Zagavar is dated. No one uses that commencement now. What kind of witch are you? So out of fashion. Yuck. Christ's kingdom! It's a talking cat. It's impolite to make mention of such kingdoms in front of demons, I have you know. And you can't just go displaying icons. I hate icons. Why do you haunt Aquilina? Why do you torture the girl? That's no business of yours. Well, on the other hand, I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> Why not tell you? <laughs> it goes from it. Evil and angry to just like, wait a minute. You see, I study demons. They fascinate me. There's nothing to tell, really. Yenidor used to be a wealthy churchyard near the springs. Merchants used to request prayers of thanks in this church when they returned from the north. I was once the Susietko of this church. Why would a church have a Susietko? Susietko. Why not? The abandoned ones have much scarier things inside. 
Or am I not good enough? But now, no one lives here, no one visits the church. They only go to the stone one. So I crawled inside a colina out of boredom. Wow. Don't you leave the girl alone? I might leave her if you beat me. Wow. It's just... I'm bored. I'm gonna torture this girl for eternity. <laughs> Fucking hell. So you're the Kota Chort? So what if I am? Ain't I fine looking like a feline? What did you expect? A frog or something? A feline? I can't tell if it, it's a character quirk where he mispronounces it or if it's just a voice actor. We need a Kalina's cross. Yes, I've heard. I need lots of things too. Tell you what, witch. If you beat me, I might even do both. Give your cross and leave the girl. So be it, Broshka. Here I come, Vasilisa. Nope, nope. There goes my question. Oh my fucking. Hang on. I want to save this because I don't know. Backhand it, the demon girl thing. What was that? So, am I supposed to, like, break it out or something? I hope you don't mind if I beat that for living shit out, you kid. Hell, that's also enough. That's what we call very good timing. Nava. Avoy. Varahe. Avale. Amen. Cold dumb thing. Goodbye to all of your positive effects. Or not. Okay, so he's no longer inside of her, I guess. I'm not sure how it works. This will give me 16 defense, perfect. I guess I'm just going all in on attack right now. Well, that's a good bit of attack. Look at all that. Mm -mm -mm. This 
issue is I'm going to take a hell of a lot of damage. Ow. Up oh, and he's doing buffing. How much damage do I do? 16 and a bunch of DLTs. So I just basically need to survive until he doesn't have that fancy effect on him. I'll just grow inside the girl. You won't get me there. Oh no you won't. I have a Zagover with your name on it. Once and forever. Avoya, Samadia, Kitan, and that's not too much, is it? Oh, well, he's about to heal himself, so that's fine. Wait, hang on, I just realized I put up a bunch of defense for no reason. There was an actual animation showing him crawling inside and out. So I'm gonna have Smacker too, please. I don't think I need the herbs yet. Nava. George the Fonda. Of the Lake. I really like saying it out of the way. It sounds it rolls so nicely out of the time. Backhand. Okay, almost dead. Only 13 damage, so let's go all in. Oh yep, that's plenty, I think. I don't think she'll die if I do this. Kila, Urazi, Urazi. Oh, she exploded into dust. I think she might have died. Wait, wait, wait. Don't finish me off, Vasya. I'll tell you what. I'll leave Aquilina and come work for you. I can be useful. You'll see. I won't harm anyone. I'll be good. Work for me? I have plenty of charts already. Well, I'm not exactly a chart. I can be of use like a Susiepka, in fact. Actually, we don't have a Susiepka. That's not such a bad idea. What will Grandpa say to that? All right, I'll take you, but you better watch it. No joking Grab around. Grab the cat by its throat. Broshka leaves Akulina, climbs your left shoulder, and then vanishes into black flames. The girl crumples and falls down, exhausted. Her face looks calm and serene. Proshka won't poison her life anymore. You switch out Nikolai's cross for that of the Ikotnitsa. The crucifix looks old and rotten. The demon's power has left its mark. You hope that Akulina's soul was left untouched by it. Well, we're not going to carry her home. We're just going to leave her in this rotting church.
Okay, well that's it for this episode of Black Book. I like that little sequence. Some of these riddles that just require complete now utter guesswork. So that's less fun, but hey. I'm getting my footing so far. I'd, I'm probably gonna stop recording for tonight because I'm recording the past few episodes together back to back. And I will work on refining this deck a bit because it seems to be all over the place. You know? If you watch any of the fight scenes, you can probably tell. So, next time I do an episode, I'll have refined the deck and made it look better. Until next time, have a good night, have a good evening, have a good whatever. See you around.